Oh, freaking right! It's an M6. Good morning, happy Thursday. Taking a different way into the office this morning. Yes, Manic Monday. I know most of you hate that. Kind of trying to go through Kent. Here's their library. It's actually very nice as I miss traffic here, but we're going to go over the bridge. I don't really know very much about Kent, aside from this is where I work now. So we have a bridge. That is Puffer Bellies, I know that. Um, then there's railroad tracks and uh, uh, more railroad tracks. And here is kind of downtown, I think. I'm just going to keep going this way until I find something I know. More downtown construction and stuff up here, I know. It's pretty nice. It's more um, spread out than Hudson. I think it's bigger. But it's cool. We were driving through here yesterday. It's pretty nice. Well, that was easy. This turned into exactly the road I was looking for. Uh, Haymaker, I think. Which is going to take me right past main campus and that weird looking Starbucks over here. So then I'll go over to 261, get over to my parking lot. It's 1025. I should be in my parking lot at 1035, which gives me 25 minutes to commute to Satterfield Hall today. After that, we're going to Bowman Hall and then Merrill, which is actually uh, front campus. Um, so maybe I'll try to film a little bit more today walking around. I don't know. Um, usually I try to throw the flip in my backpack so I don't have more crap in my pockets, but uh, I don't know. I'll see what I can do. Or maybe I'll talk to you in the parking lot in like five hours, so we'll find out. Let us out of 12. Friggin' right, it's 15 early. It is a beautiful day. My class is in here in a half an hour. Hello, Ferrari 360 in Kent. Why? Why is there a 360 going to the university? I don't know. But it's nice to see. Okay, home. Uh, I didn't film as much as I wanted to today, but classes went well and now it's done. Thursday, as I said this morning, I think was the hardest day, so it's good to have that out of the way with no scarring. So now, home. It's 4.17. It's before 4.19. And uh, that rain that we had all day, what, Tuesday, created a lot of work for me. And mine was done yesterday. It looks awesome. So now I'm going to go over across the street, and it's kind of hard to tell if it's going to be one of those jobs that just completely sucks, and I make like three passes before the thing's full, and then I have to take five minutes to go all the way in the backyard, dump it, and then come back and cut more. Or if I do the entire front yard and, and don't dump. So I'm going to go get that done now, have that done by 5.30. I'm going to meet Alex for dinner tonight downtown. It's going to be great. Haven't eaten out, well, since yesterday, but eaten out at that restaurant now for maybe two weeks, and it's good. I haven't seen him for a long time, so that will be excellent, but I've got work to do before that. And my trimmer, yesterday, I think I mentioned, uh, you know they have wire in the end that turns, and that's what cuts the grass on the trimmer. And one of my leads yesterday shot out like six feet, so I was left with one little strand to do my whole yard. And it got done. It isn't the best job, but it's done for the for the next week or whatever until it needs it again. But I'm definitely not going to be able to do it across the street. So I gave my mom the task. Bad idea, I know. But I gave her the piece of uh, piece of wire and said, go over to Lowe's, give this to them, say, I want more of this. And I think they should be able to look at it and give her the right product to buy because I don't have time to go over there. I mean, it's only five minutes that way, but I don't want to go all the way over there and pick it up and bring it back and have to spool it. So I will let her pick that up while I mow. And then when I finish mowing, I'll come back, spool it, and go over and trim. So uh, we'll see if she gets the right stuff. I also have this yard to do, which I can see now isn't going to get done today unless I start at like 7.30 and then it'll be dark by the time I finish. So push that to tomorrow. Friday is followed by Thursday, of course, which is my bad day at Kent. Well, my longer day at Kent. But Friday is the best day at Kent. It's the best class, one class, who's not homework and it's just sitting there taking notes. The professor is awesome. Number 47. Um, so tomorrow I have 1.10 to 2 o'clock, which means I don't even need to leave here until like 12.15, so I can get up at 11 if I want, or if I'm feeling productive, I'll get up at 9 and do stuff. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow, and then the weekend, it's supposed to, we're having a cold front come in, it's going to be down in the 60s for the weekend, rain Saturday, and I have not cleaned the car up yet, so it still looks like hell. This is, this is why I hate driving this car in the rain. This is what one rainy day does to it. 
look at that. That's all over the entire rear end of the car. It just looks like absolute crap. The doors look all right until you get there down. And this, this color, people think, oh, it'll be good, it'll hide dirt. No, it displays it very well, at least with the wax that's on there. Say no. Okay, it is 5.54, the yard is done. And it was definitely on the worst side of things. Shit, I just forgot my sunglasses, so I'm gonna have to go back. Um, hold on, hold on, we're gonna have to get fancy here. Turn around in the neighbor's house, with the house that got decorated. Ah! Uh, yeah, so I would make, it wasn't quite two passes, it was more like four, before it would just be totally full and I'd have to go back. I think I made 17 or 18 dumps all the way in the backyard. Looks nice, but it was a pain in the ass. 6901 for 16,959 gallons. How you doing? Switch to hill figure, I see. No, I just got two of them. You got two of those. They're Sorry, that's not bad. Though. That's not bad. We're at uh, Shell. We had our uh, our lunch dinner at Muchita's outside. It was good, except for the fact that it so, rained again. And now look, now it's like perfectly clear. So that is typical Ohio weather, ain't it? Yep, yep, yep. We are gonna cross the street to go take a look at this new uh, SL63 AMG over here. You don't see very many of these. In fact, this is the first AMG model that I have seen in the new body style. And I will say right now, it is breathtaking. Look at that. I don't think it's as big as a 6 Series, which makes it not that big of a competitor to me, but it's beautiful. Carbon fiber, quad exhaust, of course, with AMG branding on it. Huge, these have gotta be 20s. I always check wheel size, ZR20, Continentals. Oh, friggin' rights, carbon fiber mirror folded in. I like what I see. It's pretty. Check out those clouds. Black versus white. Hookers want hummers. 10.65 p.m. Dinner was excellent. Um, it started to rain when we were sitting outside, so we had to move inside. And then I filled up the car with gas, and then we walked around downtown for a while and looked at some cars. And then I came home and saw the M5 in the garage and thought, this is a shame. I showed you the dirt, I think, in this vlog just a few hours ago. So I got a bunch of towels and the, 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 the Zeno stuff, and there's all my mess. And uh, I just put the last two hours into going over every square inch, wheels, exhaust, windows, body. Um, actually, crap, I forgot to do the inside of the doors. It's, it's been raining, so you get that line of crud that I will see and that will piss me off. So I'm gonna have to grab a towel real quick and do that. And I also want to vacuum out the front seats. So I'm going to have like a two and a half hour job tonight in rejuvenating the car for the weekend. Uh, but it looks really nice now and it's paid off. Beautiful. Perfectly clean inside and out. Just the way I like to leave it. I don't even know what time it is. It's 12.10. I did some other stuff since I talked to you last. But that's going to be it for today. Had a pretty good Thursday. And uh, now it's time to get to that Watch Later playlist. I think there's 14 in there. Uh, as well as a couple emails. I don't think there's much in here tonight. Loading two, it should update. There's more than two. I just did them a little bit ago. But anyways, key is <laughs> three. Not much to do tonight, so that's great. Um, Friday, tomorrow. Looking forward to it, and I'll talk to you then. Good night.